Assalamu alaikum learners, hope you are all well. Today's lesson is about percentages. Now we have done percentages in term one, so it's just a revision. So to remind you, a percentage is a special fraction where the denominator is always 100, right? And so the denominator is always 100, and we use this sign to denote that we are talking about uh, percentages, okay? So in other words, it's like having a pizza and dividing it to 100 pieces, okay, and taking a share of that, right? So which means that means a percentage can also be like a common fraction, okay? So they are linked. They are linked. Now, let's go straight into recapping what we have learned before, right? We said, okay, you know what, if I have a common fraction, a common fraction to remind you is a fraction where the denominator is bigger than the numerator. And to remind you, this is a numerator, this is a denominator, the numerator is smaller, so it's a common fraction. So when we have a number like this here, if it's over 100, straight this way we can convert it and say it is 44%. Okay? Now, what happens if my denominator is not 100? So let's say it was um, 4 over 10. And they said convert it to percentage. So we know that, you know what, if I have a denominator of 10, I can multiply it by 10 to get 100. So I multiply my denominator, I multiply my numerator, and I get an answer of 40 over 100. Now that I've made it a common fraction, I will be able to write it as a percentage. Okay? So that's scenario one. That's scenario two. But now, what happens if, you know what, my denominator is not something where it is, um, it can be multiplied into a hundred so easily. So what if my denominator, what if I had 32 over 40? So this is scenario three. 32 over 40. So now I can't multiply 40 by anything to make it a hundred, right? So what do I do in that case? So I say, let me multiply it by 100 over 1. When I do this, then I'm just going to erase here to make a little bit space, right? When I do this, then we've learned something about cross multiplication or cross simplification. And we remember whichever denom, which we call it the butterfly method, right? And whichever number I use for the 40, I must use the same number for 100. So if I use 10 here, I have to use 10 there. Okay, if I use 5 year, I must use 5 day. I can't use 10 day and 4 year. It has to be the same. So if I divide 40 by 10, I'm going to get 4. If I divide 100 by 10, I'm going to get 10. Right? This remains as it is. Okay. That leaves me worth 320 over 4. And if I divide this, I'm going to come to a percentage of 80%. Okay? Because 4 will go into 32. 8 times 4 can't go into 0, so you put down the 0. So it will be 80%. So that is the three scenarios of converting from a fraction to a percentage. Right. Now, let's talk about real life examples. Say I go to a store. Right? I go to a store and they tell me that, you know what, the top is marked 800 red and it's 20% off. And your parents say, hey, you know what? You are doing percentage in class. So tell me if something is marked 800 rand and you're getting 20% off, right? 20% off, what will the answer be? Okay, so if you remember, we have done this before. Off means multiplication. Anything with a percentage sign always goes over 100. And my whole number over 1. Why over 1? When I put it over 1, I'm not changing the value at all. I'm just converting it to a fraction so that it can match up with my percentage. Then, again, I cross simplify. Okay? So if I look at 100 and 800, 100 will go 100 divided by 100 is equal to a 1. 800 divided by 100 equals to 8. That leaves me with 8 over 1 times 20 over 1. That gives me, what is 8 times 20? 160. But now we're not finished. Remember, the original price of the garment is 800 rand. You got a 20% discount. You want to know how much are you going to pay? So you're going to say 800 
minus 160 and it will give you the amount that you're going to pay okay so that is one scenario or that is something else that we learned in percentages right moving on so we learned about converting we learned about what if we get a discount at the store and now that we've done decimal fractions you should have also realized that 44 over 100 which is a common fraction which we said is the same thing as 44 percent right didn't we say that is also the same thing as 0 comma 44. so can you see how they all tie in all of this here is all got to do with different forms of fraction okay it's all part of a whole the only time it becomes a whole is if i have 100 over 100 then it becomes one whole pizza or one as in a whole number the whole right so now what if i have a question like this here petrol has increased from 10 ren to 11 ren. So the petrol has increased from 10 ren to 11 ren, but what is the percentage increase? They want to know what is the percentage increase. So here you need to apply a formula. We call it the difference. Ah, look at this. Difference over original amount times 100 over 1. Now I'm sure you're familiar with this because we have done it in term 1. Like I say, this is a recap, right? Now, what is the difference between 10 and 11 ren? It's 1 ren. That's the difference. What is the original amount? What was the price of the petrol, the original amount? It was 10 ren, right? 100 over 1, why? Because I'm working out percentage, right? Then I use my butterfly method. I use butterfly method and I say to myself, okay, which multiple works for both? So if I count in tens, I will come to a hundred. So if I divide by 10 and I divide by 10, I'll get one over one times 10 over one, which will give me 10%. So how much has the petrol increased by? The petrol has increased by 10%. Okay. So let's look at another example now. What if... I say the petrol has decreased now. So the petrol has decreased now from 10 ren to 8 ren. Okay? And they want to know by what percentage did it decrease. Again, we're going to apply the formula we use. That is the difference over the original amount times 100 over 1. Right. So that means, what is the difference between 10 and 8 ren? 2 ren. What was the original amount? What was the, what was the price of the petrol originally? 10 ren times 100 over 1. I cross simplify. 10 will go into itself once. 10 will go into 110 times. I'm left with 2 over 1 times 10 over 1. I have learned about multiplication. It's 20 over 1, which is the same thing as 20%. So by how much has the petrol decreased? It has decreased by 20%. Okay? I hope you understand this recap of percentages. Jazakallah.